Hello, this is Ian James from DVW Analytics and in this short video today I'd like to give you an idea just how easily it is to get started using data source from your SAP business objects environment within Alteryx. So let's start with a little bit of the technical side. There are two tools within the Alteryx connector for SAP. One for reading business objects webbies and the other for universes and they both rely on connectivity via the RESTful API that is supplied by business objects and gives access to the objects defined in your backend system. Okay, that's enough theory. Let's try and show you what it looks like in practice. First, we bring in an SAP logon tool, and this helps us get connected to our business object system. We simply add the tool in and select from our list of systems the business object system, and we can show that we're connected nicely to that system by pinging it here. So we continue now by bringing in the business objects universe tool, we drag it into the canvas, connect it to our logon tool, and you can see from the configuration now that in the basic tab, the details we added in of our system have been passed through. If we go now to the parameters, we can search for the universe um, from our backend system. You can see they're listed here. We're going to use the fashion universe, so we say OK, and the metadata for that universe is then pulled through. We can see the measures and all the dimensions, and we can select which particular dimensions we want to see in our output. So we can select whichever dimensions we want. Some of these, such as um, SKU number, for instance, if we open here, have uh, maybe a label associated with them. And of course, we can also select some measures, and these will all be displayed in the output. And that's it. So all we need to do now is to right click on the output anchor here. We select a browse tool so we can view the output and let's run this very simple workflow to get started extracting data from business objects. You see the data quickly comes back and we can see if we view in the browse tool that it's nicely formatted in a table format and ready to use with other tools in Alteryx. Now that's a quick start for pulling data from business objects, but I'll show you a couple more of the functionalities that are available with the tools. Firstly, um, we can add additional filters by right clicking on a particular dimension and selecting which filters we'd like to see. We can see that they're displayed as per the backend system. We can select singles or we can select uh, maybe uh, from a list or other operators. So let's select three here. Um, we're also going to split them, which gives us some capability in terms of performance. As this splits the calls back into the business object system over the three different values we've selected as filters. So now when we run the workflow, um, that runs quickly. And we'll see that if we look in the Browse tool, that the values now shown are obviously restricted to the filters we've chosen and each one of those filters represents actually a different call back to the backend system, which can be really useful when we have big volumes of data to extract. Now, so far we've used manual filters, but let's show how we can do that more dynamically. If we right click on one of the manual filters, then we can copy headers and values, right click again and paste the text input tool. Now that gives us the right format to provide filters from outside of the tool. So all we need to do is create lines as you see here. I'm going to create, create one extra line and I'm going to change the values of our filters. You see Dallas and uh, let's say New York. Now these values, because they're formatted correctly with the right column headers, can be passed straight into the tool and can be used as a dynamic filter to override the, any other filters that are within the universe tool. You can see that those column headers correspond to the mappings shown here and they've been automatically mapped for us. So we can just uh, confirm that's OK and run our workflow again. Now this time, the manual filters will be overridden by the Dallas and New York dynamic filters. And we can see that in the Browse tool, we have Dallas and at the bottom here, New York. Again, retrieved using a split of two calls. So that was the Universe tool. But equally, we could use the Webby tool to the same effect, really. Um, we can again connect it to the logon. We can search for our object, our Webby in this case, 
and when we pull back the webby we can see that the queries that are formed under that webby can be selected we choose query 4 here the metadata is retrieved and again we've got our dimensions which we can select and our measures which will all be included in our output we can also look in the filters and variables tab and here we can see that any predefined filters are available they have their default values first but we can override them as we've done here using 2015 we also have a selection anchor as before we won't use that now but it's the same principle and when we add a browse tool and run this we can see that the data is pulled through not so many records here just 183 but we can see in the browse tool here that again it's formatted nicely for us in a tabular form and ready to use with other Alteryx tools. This of course was just a quick insight into the Business Objects tools but if you'd like to know more then please visit our website at dvwanalytics.com where you can find videos, blogs and much more information about Alteryx Connector for SAP.